All right, we're gonna talk about this green hair algae, also known as green thread algae. The scientific name, I believe, is called filamentous. And this stuff is a nuisance. And uh, through the beginning stages of every planted aquarium, you're gonna go through things like this. All right, so with filamentous algae, which is the green hair algae, your best bet when it comes to livestock is gonna be a combination of rose barbs, rosy barbs, some call it, and Siamese algae eaters. All right, now with this tank, I had a crazy breakout of hair algae and uh, I really couldn't figure out a way to get rid of it. I was raising the light, I was lowering the time, it was running. I decreased nutrients. I did all kinds of things. My plants were not loving it. So we had to figure out another plan. Amongst many, many hours of research, uh, not being able to really find a good answer to my solution, I was listening to a podcast on a flight from here to Phoenix. So I had a couple hours worth of time to just sit and listen and I was listening to this podcast and someone said that they were coming across the same issue with the same problems and the same kind of setup. And their solution were these rosy barbs. First thing I did when I got back to town was go get some rosy barbs. And I'll tell you what, it worked, all right? You can see how clean this tank is of algae. There's not a spot of algae anywhere. I mean, a little bit of green algae on the, on the substrate there on the sand but don't even sweat it because we're going to get something to fix that so right now as far as hair algae goes rosy barbs and saes are going to be your best bet now we're going to give you a good example if you look here we are consumed with algae just consumed look at just wads of it just floating all right and i'm going to go ahead and get you guys a first look of what these fish are capable of doing in a situation like this. So we're gonna go get some rose barbs, we're gonna get some Siamese algae eaters, and we're gonna stick them in this tank. We will set a timer and see how long it takes, and I guarantee you the first week, all of this will be gone without me changing a thing. And what's gonna happen after that is I'm gonna be able to lower the light here a little closer to the tank, get more intensity, more growth, uh, better colors, everything all because of the livestock i have is working as a as a team as a unit and destroying what is destroying my tank so we will go get some of those and we'll show you the slow progression or better yet quick progression because if you look here we have a new light we have a new light it's a 45 watt led grow light I guess you can get this from Home Depot for about $100 and I'll tell you what I couldn't be happier so far the colors I'm getting out of my plants this tank this light has only been on this tank for three days now it is an intense light so within those three days I'm getting blooms of algae already but I've had this plant for well over a year and I've had it in several tanks and several setups, CO2, high light, no CO2, low light, you name it. And not ever have I been able to get this kind of coloration. That is Jungle Val Ruby Red, and it is showing its red. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is really, really exciting. Uh, we are throwing some plants in this tank as experiments to test our theory. Because these plants, such as this one, has been in that other tank that's algae ridden underneath the ADA Solar One light for months. And it's growing, it's growing. But we're gonna see here in the next couple of days what kind of colorations we can get. Okay, so I'm thinking about running two of these across the 40 breeder. And we're gonna see exactly how that does. Right now I'm only running one because we're experimenting. I only have one, but I'll tell you what, I'm really happy with the results so far. But uh, it's kind of hard to see back there right now. It's just, I've, it's been taking abuse in these other tanks, you know, I'm experimenting. That's what we do, guys. We're trying to find the answers for you. <sighs> Fluval, beams work, dirted, capped, CO2, 
everything is the same. Everything is the same. Dirted, capped, CO2, you know, pump in CO2 all around the tank, circulation. It's all there, it's all there. Pump, pump in circulation, pump in, it's there. This one, we have 300 uh, gallons per hour canister pump in. CO2 is in there, it's running. Uh, same thing with this one here. Canister, 300 gallons per hour, plus a little pump, circulating the water, uh, pushing it, getting that CO2 moved around. And uh, I'll tell you what, without this team, we'd be floating up a certain creek, and you guys know which creek I'm talking about, but because of them, we are rocking and we are rolling, and then these plants are going crazy. They're loving it, so I'm real happy. And uh, leave a comment below, like the video, if you guys learned anything on how to get rid of your hair algae. All right, rose barbs and SAEs, the trick to be.